I'm back. My name is Lilith Eve and have you ever fallen into a void so deep you don't really know what to do with yourself? My arm is naked. That can't happen. Basically, you see two characters together, whether it be in a book, in a movie, on a TV show, etc. You're enjoying the story when you start to like the relationship. They could be friends at this point, or they could be worse enemies. It doesn't matter. You like the idea of them having some sort of emotional bond together. They play very important roles in each other's lives. You're simply enjoying social connection between the two of them. This is the peaceful stage. This is the stage that completes you. It is also a very dangerous stage because you can simply stay here and leave, live your life peacefully like a normal individual. But don't become too invested. Little are you currently aware of, you've become too invested. The idea of the possibility that these two characters will not be a part of each other's lives puts a small sadness in your heart. You want them to be around each other forever. You want them to hug. You want them to talk to each other. You want them to just be around each other all the time. You crave the fluff. Once you've reached this stage, there's literally no going back. You're going to start experiencing more emotions than you did before. Every fight, every smile, every tear is going to slightly alter your emotions. Not too much though, because you haven't reached that point yet. But then you're going to feed on these characters together and it is going to consume your every being. You're going to start praying that they have a more romantic role in each other's lives. You're going to start anticipating them kissing, holding hands, and cuddling in bed with each other. You will be analyzing their body language with every connection that they have, and if you see a little glint in their eyes, you... <laughs> you know there is a connection. It fills you with determination. You rage on social media with your fellow shippers that you found at 2 or 4 a.m. You scream and you curse the creators out with every moment that goes on that your chosen pair are together now because they're not just two characters anymore. No, 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 no. They are valid beings with valid feelings. And those feelings are for each other and each other only. You spend hours every day switching between Tumblr and Instagram and Twitter just reading everything, soaking up every detail like a dry sponge that needs water. Everything on the relationship between the couple, and you know every theory on their romantic relationship by heart. You have read fan fiction after fan fiction, both smut and fluff, and you have possibly even written some of your own. You have an entire folder dedicated to your ship and your fan art, and you have a special easy access folder for those including smut. You know everything. You've lost sleep, you've forgotten meals, and you are so emotionally invested in this ship that you catch yourself more often not staring off into space thinking about what is now your OTP. You don't accept anyone who claims anything other than the fact that they are soulmates. They are meant to be. You procrastinate your priorities in order to show your full dedication to your OTP. If they cry, you cry tenfold. If they laugh, you scream at the top of your lungs. If they so much as glance at each other, you roll around squealing in your blankets, in your pillow, because you just know that everything in the universe fits together the way it does because they are meant to be. You wonder where you went wrong. What happened to those months that you started to forget what is important? What happened to your job, your house? You're absolutely sure that you forgot your feed your fish three weeks ago, but you're not sure how it's still alive. Everything that happens in this world brings you back to your OTP. You don't have any relationships, friends or otherwise, because you don't need anything but the emotionally draining, soul-consuming black hole feel you get from your OTP. But it's okay. It was worth it. At least you have your couple thousand social media followers who feel the same exact way as you to post towards. Not talk to though. Only a couple will talk to you. The rest are just the ghosts floating around in the mess of the newsfeed. And once the story ends, once it's all over and your OP OTP didn't so much as hold hands, once you've had it up to here, 
with crying on your shower floor because a part of you knows that behind the scenes the relationship was true and that after it ended they got married and everything was perfect once you have written alternative ending fan fictions to your fingers have gone numb once your heart feels empty and your soul feels crushed you'll repeat the entire process over again to mask the pain it will send you into a spiral of loop of loop after shipping because this isn't a hobby or even a life lifestyle it's not even a choice this is an addiction and it's an addiction that there's no help for there is no rehab or interven interventions for this is an addiction that cannot be stopped by switching it out for alternative activities this is your always and you will never be the same again and if you see yourself in any of the stages from two on, welcome to the fandom, and we hope you spend the rest of your life squirming in agony that most of us will claim to be numb to, but we really aren't. This is going to be the beginning of the ending of your life as you know it. We hope you enjoy your stay. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I totally didn't write that from personal experience at all. Somebody save me. Oh,